welcome to this edition of News Leader on 6. Today is Tuesday, August 7th, 2018. I'm Andrew Todd. Jim Fuller is on assignment. In tonight's news, the Tullahoma Swim Club is bringing in a four-time Olympic medalist to speak at a fundraiser this weekend, and the nation is reaching near-record demands for gasoline. We'll have all these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. Ah, the glory days. Running to daylight on the gridiron and chasing a ball with a mind of its own. Cheering the team to victory and marching to the beat of your own drum. Memories that last a lifetime. But sometimes we're reminded of our glory days in ways we'd rather forget. Get back in the game. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live and play well. Russell's got your truck, man. Russell's got your truck. Keith Barnett here at the Russell Barnett Automotive Family and we have sold so many new trucks we've got over a hundred pre-owned trucks to choose from. Any make, any size, any model. It's as easy as going to RussellBarnett.com to check out our pre-owned truck inventory. And remember, why buy your next truck anywhere else? With the best selection anywhere, Russell's got your truck, man. Cool off at Southern Middle Tennessee's newest water park, Tullahoma's Splash Island. Fun for all ages. Three 25-foot water slides, lazy river, fun water features for toddlers, tasty food items available, all this and more. Only $5 from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. or 4 to 9 p.m. Sundays, 1 to 6. Join the fun at Tullahoma's Splash Island. Welcome back. The Tullahoma Swim Club is hosting a spaghetti fundraiser dinner this weekend with guest speaker, four-time U.S. Olympic silver medalist swimmer Carrie Lynn Joyce. The event will take place on Saturday, August 11th from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Church of Christ at Cedar Lane. Joyce made her first Olympic appearance at the 2004 Athens Summer Games, where she won a pair of silver medals as a member of the 4x100-meter freestyle and the 4x100-meter relays, and again at the 2008 Beijing Olympic Games, where Joyce again earned a pair of silver medals in the same events. She competed again in the 2012 Summer Games in London, where she was featured in the film Touch the Wall, but unfortunately didn't bring home any medals. In 2017, Kara founded the LEAD Sports Summit for teenage girl athletes. LEAD focuses on connecting female athletes with accomplished women in sports through their year yearly summit and regional seminars. Tickets are $7 per person, and kids four and under are free. To buy your tickets, please visit the Tullahoma Swim Club's website at swimtsc.org. The American Automobile Association says gas demand is strengthening across the country, now nearing record high levels. In the Energy Information Administration's latest petroleum report for the week ending on July 27th, demand for gasoline registered at a near record high 9.88 million barrels per day. This demand reading is about a thousand barrels a day short of setting an all-time recorded high. More out, moreover, the demand rate is approximately 30,000 barrels per day, more than the previous week and more than 1.5 percent more than this time last summer. High demands along with tighter supplies, which fell by 2.5 million barrels last week, have driven the pump price increases seen around the country during the week. If demand remains robust amid dwindling stocks, motorists are likely to see pump prices continue to increase throughout the summer. Today's national average for unleaded regular gas is $2.87, a jump of two cents from a week ago. An investigation by special agents with the Technical Services Unit of the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation with the assistance of the Bedford County Sheriff's Office and federal law enforcement officers have resulted in the arrest of a bell buckle man. Last week, agents were notified that a fugitive being sought by the Kentucky Office of the Attorney General was known to be in the Bedford County area. Bradley Richmond had been identified as the subject of an online undercover child pornography case and had multiple warrants out of Kentucky after being indicted on 15 counts related to child pornography. Last Thursday, Richmond was arrested and charged with being a fugitive from justice stemming from the active warrants out of Kentucky. He was booked into the Bedford County Jail and is expected to be extradited to Kentucky. 
Smoking is now prohibited in public housing units across Tennessee and the United States. The smoke-free rule is part of a larger plan to decrease building maintenance and smoke-related damage costs, reduce the risk of accidental fires, and create healthier environments by reducing exposure to secondhand smoke. The public housing smoking ban prohibits smoking tobacco products in all indoor common areas, administrative offices, living units, and outdoor areas within 25 feet of the buildings. All current and incoming leaseholders will be required to sign a lease agreeing to the policy. The policy was announced in December 2016 by the Department of Housing and Urban Development. The agency gave the nation's more than 3,300 local public housing authorities nearly 18 months to begin enforcement. The rule excludes residents living in the homes under the Housing Choice Voucher Program, formerly known as Section 8. The Tennessee Department of Health reminds Tennesseans who do smoke that free help to quit smoking is available through the Tennessee Tobacco Quit Line. And stay with, it, stay with us. We'll be right back with more News Leader on 6. My wife Jackie has always been the life of the party. But things changed when she couldn't be as active anymore. They told me I needed a double knee replacement. It's not as big a deal as it used to be, but she still needed to go to rehab. I was amazed at how good the therapists were at Life Care. They took really good care of me. They took excellent care of her. And now she's back doing the things she loves. And that makes everyone happy. Life Care Center of Tullahoma wants you to get active and live well. 100 vehicles under $15,000 at five locations, both Telehoma and Winchester. Keith Barnett here at the Russell Barnett Automotive Family and new car sales have been so great, we have a huge selection of pre-owned inventory. Do you have a trade? Maximum trade allowance going on right now. 100 vehicles under $15,000, maximum trade and allowance, best website in the business at russellbarnett.com. And remember, why buy anywhere else? You know what, guys? There's a lot of tree branches and dry brush over here. We should probably move the bonfire over there. I'm guessing Smokey liked that idea. I'm meteorologist Leland Statham from the News Channel 5 Weather Center. Look to Jim Fuller and crew for local news night here on Channel 6. Welcome back. John Gray spoke recently with Lyle Russell from the Tullahoma Parks and Rec Department about the city's new Get Fit Tullahoma program, which involves walking the equivalent of the Appalachian Trail. This will be the fourth in our uh, walking series. We've done a walk across Tennessee. We've done a walk to the beach. We did walk to the state park. So this year's walking program is to walk the Appalachian Trail. Are you kidding so, me? No, I'm, I'm serious. I'm serious. How many miles is that? 2,158. 2,158 miles. We're going to go from Springer Mountain, Georgia, all the way to Mount Katahdin in Maine, which is uh -huh. where it ends. So, uh, But of course, that's figurative. Uh, the way that the program works is you'll have a team of six, so you uh -huh. don't have to do it all by yourself. And there's other exercises that you can do besides walking and running. So, you know, if you're not much of a walker or you can't run, I, obviously, I'm, if I'm running, you better run too because something's chasing me. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but I do like to swim. So, you know, swimming is included. So all of these exercises have a conversion to miles. Oh, well, that's great. And so your team captain will collect all your miles at the end of each week, and we're going to do this for six weeks starting in September, right after Labor Day. All right. Um, and so your team captain collects your miles, and then your team miles is what counts for how far you've gone along the trail. Okay, question. Mm -hmm. And the other, we've had three other walks. Yes. Has any team totaled anywhere close to that mileage? Exceeded it. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The Walk to the Beach... Uh, program that we did the the uh, second one right uh, that one's it's just fresh in my mind I know there's other ones that, that have gone a little bit further but they did almost 2,000 miles from Tullahoma on a big circuit around through Florida and up through you know Georgia and, and to Myrtle Beach so um, yeah it's it's a very attainable goal in six weeks especially with a team of six so. well I want to tell you folks you might think you know who who in the world is interested in this who's gonna do this I was astounded the first year, and we were sitting in the football stadium because this happens during football season as it well. Does, yeah. And 
I heard some people down in front of me talking about walking. Mm -hmm. And oh, how many miles did you get this week? And they were, oh, we got this and that and the other. And all of a sudden behind me, I hear this woman say to her husband, we're going to have to walk when we get home to keep up with them. <laughs> so that's yeah. how infectious this whole thing has oh, gotten. Yeah. It gets and it's a very competitive. competitive. Oh, yeah. It gets a little competitive, too. Very competitive. So I just think that's outstanding. Yeah, and the, the, one of the neat things about this, too, and there, there may be more now, but at one time, um, Tullahoma and Franklin were the only two cities in Tennessee that had the Healthier Tennessee Community designation. That's uh, great. Yeah, Governor Haslam has a great program for that, and uh, we, are, we earned it the first year. And uh, doing these walking programs and all these fitness programs that we do at Parks and Rec helps us keep that designation. There's grant money that goes along with it that we can use. Um, for example, I think part of that is being used to expand the Greenway now, uh, along with a, a diabetes grant that, that we receive. So there's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of benefits to, to doing these programs, not just getting out and, you know, getting healthy and, and trying to walk, but there's some benefits to the city as well. You know, for all the participants that we get, you know, it helps us a lot. We'll be right back with more News Leader on 6. It's not Invoice. It's not MSRP. It's not Christmas Day, although it may feel like it. It's the lowest prices in Middle Tennessee, period. It's a Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram or Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac before these prices are gone forever. All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor, you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. Welcome back. As we enter the month of August, the heat intensifies in our part of the country. Let's watch this video to learn how to keep the summer heat from making us sick. Did you know just standing out in the sun can make you sick? Most people don't realize it, but not only is the sun Mother Nature's heater, it can also act as her laser death ray. As the weather heats up, so do our bodies, and you sweat to cool yourself. You cool down as the sweat on your body evaporates. If the weather is hot, and also humid, your sweat can't evaporate as well. This keeps your body's air conditioning from getting its thermostat low enough. Heat-related illnesses such as heat cramps, heat syncope, heat exhaustion, and heat stroke can occur when this happens. Doing a lot of strenuous activity outside can really work up a sweat. All this sweating depletes the body's salt and moisture levels. The low salt level causes cramping or heat cramps. These result in painful muscular spasms in the arms, legs, and abdomen. Be sure to drink plenty of fluids to help prevent heat cramps. After several days of exposure to high temperatures and inadequate fluids, heat exhaustion can develop. As people approach heat exhaustion, the skin may be cool and moist. The victim can be dizzy, thirsty, and weak. Their pulse rate will be fast and weak with fast and shallow breathing. Heat syncope causes a person to suddenly faint or pass out during activities in a hot environment. The body cools itself by increasing blood flow to the skin where heat is released. This shift of blood flow reduces the amount of blood flowing to the brain, which stops the brain from functioning, causing a person to faint. Many times, the skin gets pale, sweaty, and cool. Heat stroke is a true medical emergency that can be fatal if not properly and promptly treated. Normally, a person suffering from heat stroke experiences high body temperature, the absence of sweating, with hot red or flush dry skin rapid pulse, difficulty breathing, strange behavior, hallucinations, confusion, agitation, disorientation, seizures, and or a coma. If you see someone suffering from a heat-related illness, get help quickly. Call for medical assistance. Only qualified medical staff can determine a further course of action. Cool the victim rapidly using whatever methods you can. Cooling the victim may prevent delirium or a coma. Some methods to try are removing clothing and bringing the victim into a shaded area. Immerse the victim in a tub of cool water. Place the person in a cool shower. Spray the victim with cool water from a garden hose. Sponge the person with cool water. Place ice packs in the armpits and groin. If the humidity is low, wrap the victim in a cool, wet sheet and fan him or her vigorously. 
If there is vomiting, make sure the airway remains open by turning the victim on his or her side. Until help arrives, you can have the victim lie down, apply a cold compress, and elevate their feet. Use a fan if you have one to lower their temperature, and have the victim drink cool liquids if they are conscious and willing. I have plenty of fluids to keep me hydrated, I've got sunscreen, a protective hat, protective eyewear, I'm sitting in the shade. Remember to increase your fluid intake during extreme heat, especially if you're physically active. The CDC recommends 16 to 32 ounces of water for every hour you're exposed to hot weather, regardless of whether or not you feel thirsty. Stay away from sodas or sugary drinks, as they can actually dehydrate you. Sport drinks are great alternatives as they help you replenish the salt, minerals, and electrolytes you lose when you sweat. Wear appropriate clothing, lightweight, light-colored, and loose-fitting. And be sure to apply sunscreen. You need at least SPF 15 or higher to prevent sunburn and skin dehydration. If you must be outdoors, try to limit your activity to morning and evening hours. Just a little preparation keeps summer safe and enjoyable. Hot weather also means an abundance of snakes. While snakes are important to our ecology balance, some folks are terrified of getting bitten. This video will help us understand snakes and minimize our chances of getting bit. Whether hiking in the woods or walking in your backyard, it's always good to be snake aware. Snakes are an important part of our environment, even though some people are deathly afraid of them. Snakes are really not all that bad. They prey on rodents, insects, toads, frogs, crayfish, minnows, and even other snakes. They themselves are food for hawks, owls, foxes, bobcats, raccoons, fish, and many other species. There are 36 native species in Arkansas, but only six of them are venomous. Most venomous snakes are slow to strike and will go to great lengths to avoid confrontation with people. The movies and the popular press play upon people's fear of snakes, mostly for entertainment purposes. Snakes do not chase someone down. A venomous snake observed from a distance and left alone is really completely harmless. The snake that I'm holding is the speckled king snake. It lives in a variety of habitats in Arkansas. And as you can tell, it's continually trying to get away from me. It's a non-feminist snake. It eats rodents, it eats uh, uh, insects, it eats a variety of animals. And I always tell children and even the adults that if you ever see a snake and you're not 110% certain what it is, don't pick it up, leave it alone. Understanding snakes and their habits can help with avoiding a snake encounter. Snakes wait for their prey underneath or beside logs, rocks, and debris. Walk on paths with clear visibility and a little ground cover where the snakes can be easily seen. Never step over logs or other obstacles unless you can see the other side. Carry a walking stick, make some noise, and be wary particularly of where your foot is about to step. Now when you're hiking in places where you know that snakes are around, be sure that you wear boots at least 10 inches high or snake leggings. Pattern your outdoor activity to avoid snakes. In the heat of summer, snakes are more active at night. Use a flashlight when walking at night. In the late fall and early spring, snakes seek out rocks or patches of sunlight to bask and heat their bodies. They tend to be more active during the daylight hours. Be snake alert when walking through rocky areas or in leaf litter, which can camouflage a snake. If you encounter a snake, step back and allow it to go its way. Snakes don't move very fast, and you can retreat easily from the snake's path. More News Leader on 6 is coming up after these messages. You made the time and the sacrifice to broaden their horizons to see their smiles, but mostly to make lifelong memories. We think it's time to do it again, just the two of you. Don't let illness or injury slow you down. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live well. Russell Barnett Hometown Auto Rental has proudly served your auto rental for over 30 years. Check out this huge selection to choose from. Small car, mid-size car, full-size car, crossover vehicle, SUV, minivan, pickup trucks, 12 and 15 passenger vans. Whether big or small, Russell Barnett Hometown Auto Rental has them all. 
Stop by our two locations to serve you, Tullahoma and in Winchester. And remember, my question is, why rent anywhere else? We're losing it, doctor. Not on my shift quickly, brush. Roller. What a transformation. It's gonna be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor too when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma, come see the paint doctor stat. Welcome back. Christ Community Church and King's Cross Church recently held a joint worship service. Let's watch this video as the combined church choirs perform to open up your heart. forget to tune in to this week's Living Show tonight at 6.30 p.m., Thursday morning at 9, and Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evenings at 6.30 p.m. This week's guests include Fran Gray along with Kat Murray, who will remind us about Kat's Michael Jackson tribute coming to South Jackson Civic Center next weekend. Freeman Hindeman will stop by and play a couple of songs to preview his South Jackson Goes Country performance this weekend. And Sylvia Pinson will tell us about the Butterfly Festival coming to Shelbyville. All that and more on this week's Living. And 
Stay with us. We'll have your weather forecast right after these messages. At the time, maybe you were just building a bridge, a business, or a community. Maybe you were simply working for a home or a better tomorrow. At the time, you served out of duty and love of country. But in that time, we see a legacy created, an American dream lived. Don't let illness or injury slow you down. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live well. I have 30 seconds to tell you about RussellBarnett.com. We're going to find over 1,000 new and pre-owned vehicles at RussellBarnett.com. We're going to get your trade appraised at RussellBarnett.com. We're going to get financing done at RussellBarnett.com. We're going to get collision repair assistance at RussellBarnett.com. We're going to get auto rental assistance at RussellBarnett.com. We are the one-stop shop, one click away. Why click anywhere else? When your family suffers the loss of a loved one, the caring and compassionate staff at Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel are standing by to assist you in every way possible. We are proud to support local industry and offer only Batesville caskets. Many funeral homes don't own or operate a crematory. We utilize the only crematory in Coffee County. Your loved one never leaves Coffee County. We can accommodate any need and any budget. Consider our complete pre-need service to remove this burden from your family during their time of grief. Lock in today's low costs and protect from inflation. Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel. Our family caring for your family. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast, starting with our weather history on this day. Our record high was in 1930 at a whopping 102 degrees. Our record low was in 2004 at 53 degrees. The average high for this day is 88 and the average low is 66. Cloudy with a chance of rain for tonight's weather with a low of 74. 60% chance of rain in the forecast for Wednesday with a high of 88 and a low of 70. And a 50% chance of rain for Thursday with a high of 84 and a low of 69. And that's our News Leader Report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday evening at 6, 8, and 10 for News Leader on 6. Have a great evening.